The Christmas market in the French city of Strasbourg has reopened two days after the attack carried out by a bombman on Tuesday evening. Sheriff Chaggett was killed on Thursday by police on a city street after he opened fire on officers. Three people died following the shooting at the market, and several more are seriously injured. Interior Minister Christoph Ostoner is visiting the market as it reopens, talking to stockholders. Strasbourg's Mayor Roland Rice said security would be tight. We have restricted the number of entrances with checkpoints, body searches and bad searches. We have reduced the number of entry points for greater control, with a better distribution of police forces, he told French radio. Strasbourg markets itself at the capital of Christmas, and this festive market is a magnet for tourists, attracting 2 million visitors every year. The city had been in lockdown after the attack while more than 700 police and soldiers hunted down the suspected gunman. Check it. 29. Had a string of criminal convictions in France and Germany and had become a radical Islamist in jail. As a result of a call for testimonies, the security forces received 800 calls from the public and quickly focused their search on the Nudorf area, where Chekit was last seen after the attack. France is anti-terror prosecutor. Are my heights set on Friday as a result of two significant reports. An extensive police operation involving a helicopter was launched on first day evening at 19:30 local time, 18:30 GMT. At 21, officers in a police car noticed a man whose description matched that of the suspect walking down Rue du Lazard. Mr. Heiss said the man noticed the police car and tried to enter a building at number 74. But could not get in. The officers identified themselves, and the man turned around, pointing a gun similar to the one used in Tuesday. It's attack, and fired in their direction, hitting their car. He said two of the three officers fired back several times and killed the suspect. He was identified through his fingerprints and declared dead at 21:5. The officers found that old gun. Still loaded, some ammunition and a knife on his body. French President Emmanuel Macron earlier thanked security forces in a tweet, vowing that the country's commitment against the terrorism is total. Hundreds of French police and security forces had been searching for check it. A large police operation had taken place in Nouveau earlier on Thursday afternoon but ended without results. Seven people have been arrested in connection with the attack. Kreef, Chakiti's parents and two of his brothers, as well as three other people close to him, Mr. Heiss said. Mr. Rice said that finding Chakrit meant the worried people of his city would now be able to return to a normal life. Mr. Castano thanked the security forces in a tweet at about 20点 local time, 19点 GMT. A man opened fire close to the famed Christmas market near Place Kyober. Mr. Heitz said the man had shot at Allahu Akbar, but as greatest as he opened fire. The suspect was armed with a gun and a knife, and escaped the area after jumping into a taxi. Mr. Heitz said. As he fled, he came into contact with four soldiers, Mr. Heiss said, and began firing at them. The soldiers fired back, apparently hitting him in the arm. The attacker told the taxi driver he had killed ten people, and also said he had been injured during a firefight with the soldiers. He ordered the taxi driver to drop him near the police station in Nudorf when he got out of the vehicle. He fired at police officers before escaping. Chakit was born in Strasbourg and was already known to the security services. He was on the Fitch X watch list of people who represent a potential threat to national security. He had 27 convictions for crimes 
including robbery spanning France, Germany and Switzerland, and had spent considerable time in prison. As a result, police were seeking him on Tuesday morning in connection with another case, but did not find him at home. A search of his apartment in Newport revealed a grenade and rifle for knives, two of which were hunting knives and ammunition. The Islamic State group itself South News Agency, AMAC, on Thursday said that Chakrit was an Islamic State soldier who had carried out the operation in response to calls for targeting citizens of coalition countries fighting its militants in Syria and Iraq. Three people died in Tuesday's attack, and one has been declared brain dead. Mr. Heiss said on Friday, the death of Kamal Natchband, a Osh, mechanic originally from Afghanistan, was announced on Thursday. The father of three died in hospital. His mosque announced his funeral would take place after Friday prayers. He had been visiting the market with his family and was shot in the head. His cousin told the NFP news agency a retired tank worker aged 61 from Strasbourg was also killed in the attack. According to media reports, the third victim was a Thai tourist who was on holiday with his wife. Thailand's Prime Minister, Priyat Chan, occurred, sent a letter of condolence to his French counterpart on Thursday that confirmed the man was among the dead. AFP reports and Pong Siu Aksaman, 45, has been named by Thai media as the victim, a seven-year-old girl who illegally crossed the Mexico's border with family died hours after being taken into custody. As officials say, the Guatemalan girl, who arrived in the United States last week as part of a group of migrants, died of dehydration and shock. The Washington Post reports, AP News Agency quotes border officials as saying she had not had food or water. For several days, thousands of migrants have traveled from Central America to the US border. The migrants say they are fleeing persecution, poverty, and violence in their home countries of Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. Many of them say their goal is to settle in the United States. Despite warnings by US officials that anyone found entering the country illegally will face arrest. Prosecution and deportation. The S Border Patrol confirmed that an accompanied girl, aged seven, had died after experiencing fever and seizures while in its custody. For eight hours on Thursday of last week, the girl, whose nationality was not given, was flown to hospital in El Paso, where she suffered cardiac arrest and died within 24 hours. A Department of Homeland Security spokesperson sent condolences to the girl, his relatives, saying as border patrol border always takes care of individuals in their custody and does everything in their power to keep them safe. Unfortunately, despite our best efforts and the best efforts of the medical team treating the child, we were unable to stop this tragedy from occurring. The spokesperson added, once again, we are begging parents to not put themselves or their children at risk attempting to enter illegally. On Thursday, the Washington Post reported that the girl had died after being detained along with her father. Tension has been running high on the US Mexican border since the arrival of almost seven Ooh, migrants in recent weeks. Last month, as border agents used tear gas on a crowd of migrants, including children, trying to cross the border. The agents said that personnel had been assaulted and hit by storms. However, critics accused the Trump administration of a draconian response. While Mexico demanded an investigation into the incident, the migrants have traveled in large groups, dark caravans, for more than four. 000 km. Miles from Central America, among them are many families with young children. Donald Trump has vowed to keep each migrant on the Mexican side of the border until courts have decided their cases.
meaning some face a long wait. They have been spending time in temporary shelters in the Mexican border city of Tijuana County in Mexico. 180 miles to the east, a United States passenger plane traveling from Seattle to Dallas was forced to turn back hours into its flight because a human heart had been left on board. Southwest Airlines says the Argon was flown to Seattle from California, where it was to be processed at a hospital to have a valve recovered for future use, but it was never unloaded and its absence was not noticed until the plane was almost halfway to Dallas. The heart itself had not been intended for a specific patient. Details of the incident, which occurred on Sunday, were revealed in media reports. On Thursday, passengers were said to have been shocked when the captain told them about the cargo and why the flight was turning back.